Hi, I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. Stocks rose Tuesday as Wall Street shook off a surprise move from the Bank of Japan that sent global bond yields up. The Bank of Japan caught investors by surprise with an unexpected change to a core tenant of its monetary policy, sending shockwaves across the currency, bond and equity markets. Traders described an adjustment to the long-standing yield curve control measures as potentially making a pivot by the BOJ, the last of the world's leading central banks to stick to an ultra-loose regime. A handful of big companies will report their quarterly results this week ahead of the Christmas holidays. Nike and FedEx are set to report after the bell. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 0.28%, the S&P 500 gained 0.1%, while the Nasdaq Composite gained 0.01%. It's been a rough year for stocks, from the market's yearly high on January 3rd to this morning. US stocks have shed $11.7 trillion in market cap. Of that $11.7 trillion, more than $5 trillion came from losses in just five companies, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Alphabet, Meta, and Tesla. And in tech news, Epic Games will pay $520 million to settle an FTC investigation. The maker of Fortnite was accused of illegally collecting children's personal information, matching them with strangers while enabling live communications and using dark patterns to trick kids into paying for in-game items. The fine easily set a record for child privacy violations. Tech startups that have traditionally relied on deep-pocketed Silicon Valley investors to fund ambitious growth plans are being forced into alternate financing deals to sustain their businesses and avoid drastic cuts in valuation. A sharp decline in venture capital deal-making, alongside a closed market for initial public offerings, have resulted in a funding crunch for many private technology companies over the past year. Company founders are entering into debt-focused deals such as bridge loans, structured equity, convertible notes, participating bonds and generous liquidation preferences. These moves are designed to avoid the dreaded down round of funding. Across the sectors, energy was the big standout, closing 1.52% higher. This was followed by communication services and then materials, which closed 0.7% and 0.65% higher respectively. Best performing thematics include live streaming, Chinese education stocks and UK banks. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.8% gain. Thank you for listening.